Hi everybody. I'm here with the Taurus ring saw. And what I'm showing you today is how to replace a blade, put a new blade on, and how to put your new rubber grommets on. And then in the end you're gonna learn how to rewind the belt because you'll have to take the entire belt off. So the first step that I do in this process is I take these guys off right here and right here. Those are out to save some time for the video. I've also loosened this screw right here, so I'm gonna unscrew this screw on the gray foot. And this foot is what holds your blade in place. So I'm gonna set this right here, not to lose any of my parts. This is gonna slide down. Now this is really tough to get out, so I'm gonna yank on it a little hard, but be careful not to damage the blade or the foot on the way out. Just like that. I've also unscrewed this to save some time. This is the other rubber grommet that comes out. You only need to unscrew one of them to get it to slide out. Setting those there so I don't lose those pieces. This might as well stay with the gray foot. And now from here, you're gonna take a bigger screwdriver. To unscrew all those, I use a small screwdriver. The bigger one's gonna take care of this pulley here. Unscrewing that one. And please keep in mind while watching this video, I'm a complete amateur just teaching my knowledge to you guys. What I've learned, I'm teaching as well. Down here, this is a spring-loaded pulley. So I'm gonna loosen that. That's gonna loosen the rest of the belt everywhere else. This is coming out fairly easy now that it's loose. Setting this right here. Don't get any of these mixed up. Keeping them right as I pull them out remembering where they go. I'm going to take this entire belt off. It's a good time to replace the belt as well. If you're noticing any kind of wear. Inside this belt there is a groove. The groove does start to wear out over time. It's important to replace these as well. I should be replacing them, but here's the old belt. Comes off just like that. New blade. Excuse me, blade, I mean new blade is coming on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the belt with that groove, wind it around. It sets really nice in the, the belt. So once it's in there, you can hold it just like that. And it goes. Now this is kind of a tricky part. So as you're putting this in, you're also putting this in at the same time. This sets right here. So as you set this guy in, line this up. Once that's all lined up, you can screw this in. Making sure you do not pinch the belt. This belt likes to get pinched. So just watch everything. And once that's tight, It'll let you know when it's tight. There's no over tightening these. Now, once that's in place, make sure it's all tight all the way around. I'm gonna take this belt and wind it around. Once that winds around this, this bearing here, I'm gonna wind it teeth facing outward here. And the teeth line up with these grooves here around the next bearing and that's how you wind that this one here from the front goes around the bearing just like that and then the very last one the spring-loaded one you move that up and then stretch it around Sure everything's fit and snug the right way. Yep, that's where it needs to be. 
All right, so the very last ones. This rubber grommet here goes in the front of the blade. Kind of just push it into the rubber, find the hole. Screw it down. you know when it's tight we're gonna save this guy for last because he's special all right now we're gonna go to the foot so putting the foot back on you got to make sure that rubber grommet is missing when it's, once it's missing you can slide it where it needs to fit and then line this up here pop it on there and then it's kind of a forceful push so you're gonna take the bottom of the feet push it up there right there, where the hole's at. And screw it back into place with your small screwdriver. Now for the front, we're going to put this rubber piece back in. There's that. Alright everybody, I've got this red rubber grommet around this blue bearing little gold piece that's going to fit nicely right inside there. We're going to stick this in and we've got the nut to catch it on the other side. Sticking it through the hole. This is an adjustable slide here. So once I stick this in there, just screw it into the nut. Once I feel like that's secure, then I can slide it. No, oh, gotta loosen it. Okay. Then we slide it right up against the blade there. Tightening that rubber grommet back down. There they are. Your saw's ready to go. Put the cover back on. You've got your Taurus ring saw ready for another hundred cuts.